hi welcome to my channel power system hub today we will see how to configure a p643 differential relay that is ansom x g relay or snyder relay that p643 used for differential protection that is for uh, that may be uh, in transformer or that may be in reactor so <coughs> first of all we see how to configure this relay as per the schematic for differential protection and then the next video will prepare for the for its testing procedure so let's see how to configure the relay as per the screen drawing if you have the SRIL software in your system you just open it and open your scheme drawing and we'll see let's open this after opening the software you can see here the system data date and time configuration CT and VT ratio record control this parameter setting will be available for in uh, in p643 relay before that we'll configure one by one first of all we see the see wha what are the parameter available system data here you can see under system data the plant reference you can put plant reference description for what purpose you are using this relay you can enter the name here by adding clicking here you can add the name you add the <coughs> bay which on which bay or uh, whether you are using this one uh, and this much for this system data then you come to date and time that is not required then you come to configuration under config these are the parameters available available you can see setting group one uh, these are four setting group available only setting group one you have to make it enable other group it is not required and this function is used for if you are using multiple uh, multi-purpose protection so here we are using for this relay as a differential protection you make it enable make other disable and difference protection as, as this relay is used for differential protection so this should be enable and i am using one more protection of this relay that is overcurrent uh, protection so I, I, I make it enable and i am using one more other protection earth for protection so that's why i have enabled here and I am using one more other protection overfluxing through for so what are the protection you want to use you make it enable uh, at the bottom you can see that will be visible only otherwise if it is disabled it should not be the setting parameter is not visible so uh, just uh, we are using this relay for differential protection so just uh, enable this differential protection part other protection I am not discussing about this one I am just uh, discuss I will discuss uh, regarding this differential protection after making enable at the bottom you can see under group one <coughs> under group one you can see after making the mm, differential protection enable this would be enable all differential protection one system configuration these two parameters important for differential protection this is for overcurrent earth one uh, that is uh, extra protection these four that is not required we will discuss about these two this two is very important for differential protection of a uh, transformer or reactor here you can see under system configuration that is winding configuration winding type hvct terminal lvct terminal reference power reference vector group these are the parameter av available to configure a differential protection so this this parameter will be configured by seeing the scheme drawing what inside the scheme drawing available according to that you have to make this parameter enable so uh, let's open one scheme drawing i have and we will see there what 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 are the requirement as for the scheme drawing or what we have to do here here you can see i have the scheme drawing this is the scheme drawing for a differential protection of transformer here i am using here I am using for differential protection you know it is a unit protection so two CT is required minimum two CT is required to calculate the differential current so I am using two CT here one is one is uh, HV side CT the, as it is a transformer so one HV side and one LV side so I am using two CT here HV side CT this one is a HV side CT and this one is a LV side CT so in differential relay system configuration we have to configure this CT configuration in relay so how to configure as i am using two city one is hv and one is lv so 
we will see in relay here you can see uh, in the drawing I ha you, s you, you saw uh, in, in scheme drawing there is two CT HV and LV so in winding configuration we have to select HV plus LV if you have the three CT then you just click on it you can see multiple options is available HV plus LV this is for two winding transformer means two CT you are using HV plus LV plus TV tertiary if you are using three winding transformer that is three CT uh, you are using then you have to select HV plus LV plus TV here as per my scheme drawing I am using two uh, two winding uh, two CT input so that's how I will select HV plus IV then winding time then it is a what type of transformer actually this is auto transformer or conventional transformer this two winding transformer is auto transformer or con uh, uh, conventional transformer that depend upon you in my case uh, it is auto transformer so I will select auto HV city terminal and LV city terminal these two um, these two parameters very important you have to remember HV city terminal means my HB winding HB side winding my HB side winding that is HVCT terminal. So the in uh, here uh, here what we have to select if you click this one you can see there is two option was there 001 and 011. As I am using 001 because I am using HV side CT only one CT. I will show you one example. Here you see this is a relay manual of P643. Here you can see that winding configuration. If what are the what are the uh, possibilities that we can configure the winding in P643 relay? Here you can see if you have a winding configuration of HP plus LV means if you have a two winding you have to select HP plus LV. In that case, if you have selected HP plus LV, then HP CT terminal will be zero zero one for P6 six four three relay. P643 means this is a 3 wi three CT, 3 winding terminal relay. Means th uh, this relay will support maximum 3 CT input. Okay. That 3 CT may, may be HV plus LV plus TV. 642 means it will maximum 2 CT, hard there is two hardware of 2 CT input available only. For 645, this is a 5 CT input available. It is hardware of 5 CT input available. Means you can map 5 CT input for differential protection. In my case P643 there is a 3 CT input maximum hardware is there in the, in the back, side, back side of the relay. So that model is named as P643. If I am using HP plus IV LV for 2, for two CT I am using then for 2 CT the for HP CT I have put 001. For LV CT what we have to put? For LV CT we have to put 100. You can see if I am using HVCT, then for P643 relay, what I have to input in the relay setting 001. For LVCT terminal, if I am using P643, I have to put 100. In in my case, in this scheme, as for my scheme, I am using HB plus LV, HB plus LV. Then for HVCT terminal, I have to put 001. And, and for LVCT terminal, I have to put 100 for P643 relay. If I am I will use I if I in my scheme I have three CT input, then I have to select in the relay setting H V plus L V plus T V. In that case, what I have to select for H V C T terminal, I have to select 001. For L V C T terminal, I have to select 100. As I am using third CT for a differential protection, so for T V C T terminal, I have to select 0, 0, 010. This is the winding configuration. This will be the winding configuration in P643 relay if I am using HB plus LV or if I am using HB plus LV plus TV. Clear. If you are using HB plus LV, then you have to, for HB city terminal, you have to select 001 and for LV city terminal, you have to select 100. If I have a three winding transformer, I have three winding, three CT input in the relay, then I have to select HV plus LV plus TV. In that case, what I have to select for HV city terminal, I have to select 001. For LV city terminal, I have to select 100. For TV city ter terminal, I have to select 010. This is the basic thing you have to remember while you are configuring configuring a P643 relay and 
what uh, what are the CT inputs? Two inputs or three inputs? We have to select here. If you have two inputs, HP plus LV. If you have three inputs, HP plus LV plus TV. According to that, we have to select the CT input terminal. Suppose one more thing. Suppose I have I am I have two CT input. Here I have one more drawing of P six four three relay that is in different uh, uh, different way that is also used for differential protection. Here you can see in P six four three I have told you that uh, there maximum you can wire maximum three CT input that is CT one this is CT two and this is CT three. Here. Here I have a wire on three CT. This is CT one, CT two, CT three. But this uh, this CT one and CT two, this is HV CT. Means this is the 400 kV side protection, and this this should be 132 kV side protection. So 400 kV side I have I am using for HV side CT. This is two CT, one base CT, one is transformer CT. This is the HV CT, and one side IV CT. There is 132 kV. This 132 kV that is IV side CT. Here I have two HV CT terminal. Then how to configure the parameter uh, setting para uh, how to configure the CT input in the system configuration? Here in this case, in 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 this case, you ha I have the two HP CT terminals. Here I have to select HP plus IV because HP terminal I have two, and LV uh, HP CT I have two, and LV CT is I have only one. So I have to select HP plus LV. But here uh, for HP CT I as I have two HP CT. So I have to select zero double one. Zero double one means in HP terminal there is a two CT input. That two CT input is used for HP side CT HP side production. So I have to select zero double one. So you just remember zero double one means you are selecting for HP terminal means in HP side there is a two uh, CT summation or two CT was wired on from HP side. So you have to select zero double one. Zero zero one means if you uh, you are uh, using one CT. As a HP input, then you have to select zero zero one. It is clear. Like that, if you are using for LVCT, if you are using two CT uh, summation of two CT for LVC LVCT input in the uh, in the relay, then you have to select one one zero. If you are using uh, one CT as a LVCT in uh, input um, for the uh, in the relay, then you have to select one one zero zero. 100 means only one CT that is used for LV terminal, LV input. Double 10 means two CT which is used for LV, uh, which is used as LV input in the relay. Then you have to select 110. This is the basic thing you, you have to remember. If you are using HV plus uh, IV plus TV, LV plus TV, we'll see. Here in this case, what we will do? Here uh, for HV CT terminal, I am using two CT for HV, and I have to select zero double one. For LV, if I am using two CT, then one one zero. I have to select one one zero. What about third CT, third input uh, IV CT? If I am using IV CT, also two CT I am using for IV. Then I will select. Where is my IV? IV TV. IV means TV. I have to select zero one zero one one. For third CT maximum, there is a, there is a only zero one zero option was there. Uh, here in case in this case uh, no option for th TV CT terminal because uh, this is third uh, tertiary is only one CT maximum you can wire on. So I think it is not available. But the thumb rule is that zero 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 one means there is one HV CT input, one zero zero means one LV CT input, and TV means third CT tertiary side. If you are using tertiary CT, then this is zero one zero one CT. This is the common setting uh, used uh, in a differential relay uh, as per the CT hardware input. And the next setting is the your differential protection. What the differential protection? Uh, what are the setting you are using? Here you can see another protection under uh, another setting for under differential relay that is differential protection. Here in you have to set the CT configuration. Under the transformer uh, 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 rating, in under this uh, setting, you have to put the value. This is IS one. This is a minimum peak up for differential protection. Here I have kept 0.1. This is a slope one. Slope one started 
this is the mini <coughs> slope to minimum pickup slope to percentage this is 60 percent then ct saturation then high set this is used for external fault if there is a fault in external then your relay is for this value the relay will pick up and trip the uh, transformer this is the high set two this is the high set one and high set two both are used for external fault this is 20 times of your power gain value and this is the bias value and this is the second harmonic resistance that is the 20 percent i have set here and this is the fifth harmonic uh, resistance this is the 30 percent i have set here this is the basic configuration for a differential relay how to configure differential relay as per the screen drawing and its setting parameter value in the next video i will prepare how to test this relay according to this parameter and we will see how the relay will operate if you like this video Please subscribe and share to your friend. Thank you.